I got slammed to the floor. Picture this, it's 8 p.m. in the middle of the park. It's dark as hell outside. I get up from the floor with a big smile on my face. Well, I'm not alone. I'm with my friend and he picks me up. We both have our gloves on. We were just sparring and he kicked my ass to the floor. Now I've grown to enjoy these moments in life, these masculine moments with my masculine friends. I can relate to you who have old friends that still play games and you used to play games with them too. It was really fun. After you improve yourself and you become more masculine, there's just a certain level of friends that you can attract into your life. In this video, I'm going to explain to you the importance of masculine male friendships. The first point is that men thrive on negative emotion. If you tell a guy that hey, you're fat, start eating healthy, he's going to feel sad. He's going to feel sad in the moment, but internally, he's going to get pissed off. He's going to get motivated to work even harder. I want to ask you a question. Why do most men get into the gym? To get girls, obviously. That's why I did it in the first place too. You were pissed off that you couldn't get any women. You said, I'm going to try building an amazing physique to attract more women. A simple step that you can do is just to speak to one new potential friend a day. This can be as simple as just saying hi. Yesterday I was in the gym. I saw some dude. He was deadlifting four plates. I just went up to him. I said, yes, bro. Hell yeah. And he said, thank you, bro. And that was it. I didn't get his name or anything. But it's just a social aspect. Just coming out of your comfort zone, coming out of your show.